I mean, is this, I is this the most incompetent or self-sabotaging administration in the history of presidency? Like, if every if gas is at the cost of gas is astronomically high, people aren't buying things because it's too expensive at Targets and even Walmart. They're they're going yeah. to, like they're going to get wiped out. No one will. This is no one will vote for Democrats if this is the reality in November, and if this is the reality um, uh, two years after that. Like, do, why don't they understand that yeah. they have to fix this problem? I know they they the problem they want to have to fix is Ukraine for some reason, but that's not the problem people want them to fix. People want them to fix right. the high prices. And per the poll I cited in my radar today, majorities of Americans actually want big solutions to these kinds of problems. People, I think, would be really excited about a can, uh, an administration that said, OK, gas prices are high, we're facing a climate crisis, Maybe this is the time we actually really invest, not $40 billion in Ukraine, but at least we can do that, invest substantively in helping people transition to electric vehicles that can help them mm. get more out of, a, out of a gallon of gas. Maybe it's time to actually revisit some of the very popular programs that we had during the pandemic that did give working class people inflection and, 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 and injections of money so they could actually take them to the stores and buy things, whether it's baby food or TV that helps the economy go. You know, it, the trickle down stuff is over. The incrementalism is over. People are over all of it. They want to just see that the, the government is doing something. And Joe, I will not use executive authority for anything Biden is basically shouting out to the world, I'm, I have, I, I'm impotent and can't do anything about anything. And the party is going to pay for it in the fall. I agree with you that people are looking for real bold solutions right now, for sure. One thing, though, is that, and I, I've read this before, uh, not only just you mentioning it, but people saying, you know, what is Joe Biden's plan? Is he trying to just allow gas prices to just go through the roof until people give up and say, all right, fine, I'll buy an electric vehicle. All right, fine. You know, I'll go and I'll, I'll get that Prius. Because I have to tell you, it, you can't get your hands on one. Mm -hmm. So even if that was the plan, you can't get your hands on one. The, the car dealership is constantly trying to buy my Prius from me mm. at, at, at like worth way more than what mm. it's actually worth. They're trying to buy it. They can't get their hands on used cars, especially of the hybrid or electric version. Tesla can't pump cars out fast enough. Mm. There's they're, they're just not on the market. So I don't even know what their plan is when it comes to that. So that idea that even that I, you know, that I've seen some Republican lawmakers kind of throw out there like, oh, Joe Biden's just trying to get everybody to buy a hybrid or an electric car. That's not actually even realistic. So even if that were the plan, that can't be the plan. It's not going to work. So what is the plan? And that they don't have a plan for us. Instead, it's just, hey, be grateful you're not in Ukraine. I mean, I mean that seems I to be what they keep telling us. And I do, I do have to mention this, right? The Biden administration, the Interior Department recently canceled um, oil leases that would, I, I think, at least the very least show the people that they're committed to doing something to try to bring down, you know, even if it wasn't going to make that much of a difference to bring down the price of oil and they canceled those. Well, I mean, those things Why aren't going to make a difference because the timeline on actually getting new oil wells yeah. to produce is so far in the future, far enough that it's buttoned up against our climate deadlines to, you know, saving the planet. Maybe it would make but a I'm difference also... for the next time this happens. Well, oh, yeah. OK. Well, I think the I longer term solution is having, you know, energy independence in the in the form of clean oil. But I'm also struck by, you know, one of Joe Biden's plans in the original Build Back Better was to electrify the school bus force, which not only is a, a lot of the cars on the road, uh, represents a significant amount of traffic on the road, but also is a, a health issue for kids. There's all of these studies about the air quality diminishing around children because of these buses. The plan went down to 3% of school buses being electrified and then got completely cut from Build Back Better. Now, this is going to be an issue for municipalities who have to fill these big trucks up and cart kids back and forth. Now that schools are back open again, this has is a problem with far reaching implications and you're not going to be able to cut around the corners of this. I say, look, let's hope Elon is focused equally <laughs> on ramping up production of electric vehicles as he is on this Twitter I mean, we, buy. <laughs> we finally we finally got Democrats to recommit to the idea that children should actually be sent to school. <laughs> so, so of course, it's, I, it's not surprising at all yeah. that there's very little innovation in the school bus space again for you know, until very recently. The Democratic position on on children in schools was that they should learn from home or not at all. Not to give Joe Biden or the administration any excuses, but right now we also still do have a supply chain problem. Mm -hmm. So one of the issues going on, for example, you know that a lot of these schools that have been giving some some stimulus money, they haven't even spent. I think 93 percent of the stimulus money sent to schools has not been spent yet. Mm -hmm. And here in, in Los Angeles, the L.A. County Public Schools haven't spent a dime of it. Their reason, what they say is, 
what are we supposed to spend it on? So we can't spend it on, for example, example uh, ventilation for the school system because we can't get the manufacturing. We can't mm. get the <laughs> Uh, the the supply good, chain yeah, is, we, is a problem. We need to be so, making more things in America. Right. You cannot get around that. We need to be making. We, I, I mean, agree. I think it was you earlier it's, in a segment, um, Kim, who was talking about the the fact that we just are not um, that we can't we're not stimulating the economy by making jobs at home anymore. Like this, this is the fundamental issue that everything is stemming from. It's never going to happen. It was it was fantasy. corporate. It was corporate is, elite yeah. trying to we skim off to. the top by yeah. putting everything never. overseas and also having no storage capacity and warehousing anything at home because they don't even want to pay to store surplus materials so that when something like this happens, we at least have a little bit on, on deck. And if we're worried about yes. what happens next down the pike, Robbie, like you have to start changing how fantasy. we do things. We will, it's never it going to happen. It is a matter of again. national security, it Robbie. It, we have they to can't, do it. The government is incapable of changing the regulatory policies that made it prohibitively expensive to do manufacturing in this country. They will well, never, not with they that will attitude. never reverse right. them. They'll never, they won't do it. They not won't a good do stump it. speech, They're Robbie. <laughs> You're not ready for anything. <laughs> just, just honesty. <laughs>